so James, uh, this is a perfect opportunity for us to kind of uh, explain some of the differences, the key differences, and really it comes back to why we started this business. Right. Um, there's a big difference between what wildlife want from a plant versus human beings. Right. Um, there's traits that, that we're looking for. We want plants that will drop early, drop late, so we've got nourishment year round. Right. What, are, what are some of the other things we're looking for? Well, first of all, you know, you're, de you're dead on. The, the plants that people are buying at, at nurseries and big box stores have been selectively bred for their appearance, you know. And in some cases, they've been selectively bred not to produce fruit, like some of the live oaks have been done. Uh, so the Why is that? Why is that? It well, is people don't like, this is hard for a deer man to say, but people don't like the ground littered with acorns. Yeah, it's, it's, that's and, uh, exactly the term, so litter. Select, litter. Litter. They, you select one. and uh, So the plants... The, the problem I always had, and we said, why, were, why did I get involved in this? Is I just got, this is out of frustration, 40 something years of frustration, because uh, there, there's just not much out there for folks that are, that are adapted for deer. They're adapted to the area that they plant, the kind of soils they plant. Uh, most folks are just used to going down and uh, just buying a plant at the, at the nursery or worse yet at the big box store. So if you, if you browse our website and you see a particular oak variety yes. and you run down to your local garden center, it's, it's highly probable that that same plant will right. not produce right. nuts or fruit right. purposely. Right. It's been selected to not yes. provide litter and minimize maintenance costs for landscape contractors. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking for something totally different, right? right. right. And that's, that's really the, the whole genesis of Wild Tree. Yeah, you know, a, a good, let's take oaks for example. A, a good acorn producing oak has a lot of characteristics that people don't want in their yard. You know, they're not, they're not all that pretty a lot of times. And they're very spreading because crown diameter is a function of, of, of what, how much uh, acorns they're gonna produce. So they're just not bred for that. You know, and, and another thing that, that really drives me crazy uh, at these, at these, especially the box stores, not, I don't mean to pick on them, but I need to pick on them, is, uh, is that they're usually, the plants that come there, first of all, come from all over. They're often not adapted for that area. You know, I see uh, apple varieties, for example, sold regularly down here in, in Texas that you know good and well they're not gonna produce, but, they're, but they sound good to people who recognize the names. But the real thing is that these, are, these are plants are brought there by contractors and the, and they're, they're, the, the store itself is not really responsible for those plants. Right. And they, they go through what I call the, the drought wet cycle. You, you go there one time, you gotta, if you're gonna buy something from them, you gotta get there the day they arrive, okay? Uh, they, they got somebody that's watering them occasionally, and so you go by there and they're all wilted down one day. Next day you go by, the, the water's running out of the pot. And what's going on in that pot is the critical thing about the future of that plant, you know? Yeah, and that's a great point, because at Wild Tree, we're more, we're more concerned with what's happening inside this pot by yeah. far than what we're, we're, you know, the concern with what right. it looks like on top. A lot of the plants that you see in your, your garden centers, um, there's so much energy put into the, those plants. It's curb appeal they're looking for. Right. What we want is something that's gonna be able to survive in harsh conditions yeah. once they're installed with very minimum maintenance. I yeah. mean, as, as yeah. little as it gets, you know, right. as close to zero as possible right. without it being zero. Yeah. So uh, because of that, we're big believers in root maker uh, uh, pots uh, yeah. and we're going to grow our seedlings in these root makers and they'll be shifted into uh, three and five gallon containers, in some cases sevens. Uh, and that's, that's the focus here at Wild Tree is putting in a plant that is going to give you the greatest chance of success, which means the most healthy root system possible. Right, right. Yeah. You got to start it off right. Great.